I was walking inside to get a drink and I stubbed my toe on the lighting stand. And after I'd finished writhing on the floor in great distress, I thought, well, I obviously need to reenact this for the vlog for a bit of humour. And as I was filming it, I was kind of thinking through what sort of music I might want to use for it, what sort of uh, s cinematic hits and sound effects, and if I want to use any special effects, things like that, and just kind of building it up in my mind. And then I paused to think, actually, um, Obviously, audio makes such a big difference to how we view the footage and the emotions it gets from us, the, the reactions it gets from us are massively different depending on um, what music goes into the video. You've seen uh, kind of the finished product, as it were, of me stubbing my toe. So let me just play the same clip with no audio at all. See, it was terrible. It, it, I mean, it was cringy. The, the acting was amateur at best. Um, but all that aside, it had a very different feel. So I thought, well, hey, let's make a video about it. Because um, whether you are a, a videographer or a filmmaker, or you just make kind of TikToks or Instagram stories on your phone, I think um, this is something you should know because it will help you um, create better videos in future. And also it's it's nice to know it when you're watching a film. It kind of, it allows you to think a little bit more in the work that went into the film when you're watching it. So I've got some footage um, that I captured a couple of months ago when I went to Wales, kind of before lockdown. And um, I'm just gonna play it five times with different tracks behind it. Um, let's take a look. Okay, so there's the first one. Before we kind of pick it apart and go into a bit of detail, um, I just want to say that the sound effects are going to be exactly the same throughout all five pieces. Um, the shots will also be the same. Um, the pacing will be slightly different, but uh, only so that it fits within the track and there's no kind of cuts in the wrong places. Now, uh, that one, all of the shots felt very long because of how slow the music was and um, you could hear the sound effects really nicely. Um, it, it, it kind of uh, left me feeling very uh, chilled and relaxed um, and that was, that was deliberate for this specific one. We were going for a very uh, relaxing sort of feel and the music achieved that very nicely. Uh, so here's the next one.
So this next one is still fairly mellow, fairly chill, but it's a little bit more upbeat. Uh, we've got this lovely acoustic track playing in the background, um, and it just really feels like a, a family day out sort of thing. It is a completely different feel um, and really transforms the footage from the first song. The first song, as I said, you're left feeling very relaxed and kind of in awe of the landscape. Whereas in this one, you're really kind of, you find yourself kind of bobbing your head along and uh, really being drawn into the footage in a, in a different way. Um, so let's take a look at the third one, which is uh, massively different in style. So this one is like a, a horror score uh, in the background um, and the shots feel very, very long again. Some of them uh, sl are slightly longer, as I said, uh, uh, they will vary slightly in order to make the pacing right for the song. But all of the shots feel really uncomfortable, especially the long ones. Unlike with the first two where the long ones are quite nice, you find yourself being drawn into the scenery. Um, for this one, you kind of find yourself searching the water, trying to see if there's going to be some sort of a dark shadow underneath the boat, kind of ready to strike. Um, you're, yeah, you're left feeling very... Uh, uneasy and very uncomfortable, which is amazing because that's all been achieved by changing the song. Let's check out the fourth one. So the fourth track, um, similar to the second, is very upbeat. Um, it feels like some sort of uh, indie rock. You've got this sort of epic look at this. Um, and I think that works really well. Um, it feels like the sort of thing someone would make for maybe like a travel video. They want to show something off. Um, the shots, you're, you're, you're drawn into the shots, but unlike that third one, you're drawn in in a very different way. Uh, you find yourself enjoying them a lot more, um, and it just uh, leaves you with a very different emotion at the end. Um, now for the last one, the fifth one, this score um, is made entirely from uh, what's called risers and kind of cinematic hits, as it were. Um, I made this through uh, a pack that I downloaded of various bits and bobs um, and it's it's meant to feel like an kind of a, the intro to an action film that classic sort of trailer vibe so take a look at this
So that is again a very, very different feel. There's a few bits, some of those risers that kind of get higher and higher. They make you feel a little bit uneasy, but then there's that sort of payoff of that kind of upbeat music and it, it leaves you feeling again very very different if you look at this last one and you look at the first one that I showed you the emotions that you'll get from it are so different so I think the uh, kind of the the message behind this video is really spend some time uh, listening to music to try and work out the right score kind of when you're listening to the music close your eyes and imagine the footage at in front of you, close your eyes and imagine the footage in front of you because that is just a great way to see how it will play and uh, if it fits your sort of vision. Now for all of this music, I've got it from a site called Artlist. Um, this is not sponsored, I'd love it if it was, maybe one day, um, but I'm still going to say a little bit about Artlist. Um, if you are a filmmaker, I would strongly recommend subscribing to it. It's around £130 a year and you will have access to their massive song library and there's just so many things to choose from. You can listen to all of their songs for free and um, you only pay when you download them. If you do decide to sign on to the website there's a link in my bio where if you use that link you will actually get two months free and, and so will I. So it's not sponsored, they do this with everybody so once you've signed on you can share that link with your friends um, and get two months free as well so yeah if you liked this video and you're not already subscribed please consider doing it it makes a massive difference and hey let me know in the comments which your favorite style of video was was it one two three four or five let me know i will see you tomorrow